guys what's going on uh gonna show you guys our trailer here we got built out for our bobcats just a i think it's a seven and a half by 16 foot utility trailer has individual gates we put the um, grill lift assists on there they're not yellow because we painted them red just because the whole trailer was black and red um, obviously the bobcat mt100 36 inch bucket usually keep the bucket up on this platform here so i built this it's the first thing i've ever actually fabricated myself but we got the first deck here we usually put keep the 36 inch bucket on and then up top i have the um, spartan equipment 42 inch four in one bucket we have equipment defender rack for our trimmers which these are really nice expensive but nice everything's equipment defender on here too for our racks we have all the gas can mounts two of the five gallon mounts and then one two and a half gallon mounts we have equipment defender tool racks which are awesome love organization and this is like definitely one of the things that keeps everything organized and out of the way and neat um, so we yeah, keep our tools up there Any, anything with like a d-handle hangs um, all the tools got what do they have six slots on each so you can put six hand tools in there um, we hang a set of hedge trimmers up on here just to keep them up and out of the way um, spring line dispenser we have our pallet forks this was something else I built up here and welded on here just a little frame there sits down underneath i'm gonna pull them out in a second so you guys can see what it actually looks like we have enough room for our 48 inch land plane to fit up here it's very it's very snug and it's kind of tight getting it in and out especially with the two and a half gallon tank right there you gotta be close to hitting that yeah everything has been pretty solid so far so like on, an, on a normal day, we can fit usually the pallet forks, the land plane, the 42-inch 4-in-1 uh, bucket, the 30-inch bucket, and then I have this 52-inch uh, light material bucket. It's a half-yard bucket. We don't use it often, but we could fit all of them on there. This one would have to be attached to the machine, though. Or our stump grinder that we just ordered can stay up there with one of them. One of the attachments can stay on the machine and we could still have two buckets, the pallet forks and the land plane all on the trailer. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got our pack out. Th these drawers on the pack out are freaking clutch too. We just keep anything like string line, levels, stakes, fence stakes, pencil, more string line, marking paints. We got the level. This actually didn't come from Packout. I ordered these little clips here for our four foot level on Etsy. Someone 3D printed them. Yeah, there's more stuff in here. We got kits for like um, cutting through sprinkler lines or coaxial lines to repair them, which is something new. I've never actually hit a line until this year, but now we know how to fix them. This gate, one of our guys just welded these cross members on because the bobcat was flexing all this mesh down so we got some extra support on there which made a huge difference little box up front just to keep some random stuff in some grass seed cream extra binders gloves ratchet straps you know what whatever just odds and ends we keep our uh weed fabric and just anything random that we could store down underneath this this uh, deck here we built. But yeah, this, so far this trailer has been freaking awesome. It's been like a year-long project. We bought I bought this for fifteen hundred bucks back in November of last year, and it was the biggest hunk of junk ever. And me and Tommy ripped it all the way down with grinders to steel, repainted the whole thing put new lights on it new wheels new new wood decking which we, we actually did videos on the decking and painting the rims on it and it's like a 
it looks like a brand new trailer and the thing's 17 years old so shop around and find, find something that's got some potential and put some time into it Yep, so that's our trailer for our Bobcat MT100. Um, everything on it is pretty much built for that machine and its attachments. And it's not done yet. There's still things I think about every day that I want to add in or take out and adjust and make it better. The goal is to make it so that we can have every tool on site and not have to go back and forth and back and forth and just have everything with us. So. If you guys have any ideas on what we should do differently or add on, comments, drop it below, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks guys.